Hey guys, welcome to the Janus Project. One of the reasons that I'm recording down here in my office is I wanted to show you guys something. Uh, I'm, I'm down here anyway because I'm working after hours. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys something, and that is the Hadith. All right. Um, now this is Sahih al Bukhari. Um, again, we, we talk about beautiful books, and uh, I am not a Muslim. Uh, I do not believe in Islam, uh, but I can at least recognize that their books are absolutely beautiful. Um, this is Sahih al Bukhari. This is one of the the major uh, holy texts of the Muslims, and uh, again, this this is the Arabic English version. This is Volume One. So this would contain uh, a Hadith one through 875. So what you need to understand, and I just wanted to explain this because I, I explained it in a video and, and you'll, you'll see it on my channel. Um, but I wanted to actually show you this. And what happens is you have the, the Hadith. Now the Hadith are the collection. They have the Sunnah of the Prophet. But what happens is the individual bits of it are called a Hadith. And, uh, and so you'll see that right there on the spine. Uh, again, a hadith um, uh, one to eight hundred seventy-five, and up there on my shelf, I've got the other volumes. There are uh, nine volumes to this set, and this is Sahih Al Bukhari. All right, and uh, the other sets are Sahih Muslim. I don't have that one yet. They have Al Tirmidhi. There, there, there's a few other ones. Um, so, so with this, again, depending on whether you're Sunni or Shia, you're going to accept different uh, sets of this. Uh, but what's going to happen is if you open this up. Uh, you're going to obviously see uh, who, who translated it and all that good stuff. Um, but then you're going to get into some of the Arabic because this actually contains the English uh, and the Arabic. If you're going to buy this, I'd say do it do, through uh, Daru Salam. Um, because again, you're going to get some special deals and stuff. So I think next time I do it, uh, I'm going to buy through them. I, I think I bought this through Amazon. Um, but you've got all the Arabic text. And the Arabic text is going to record the Isnad, which is the chain of transmission. In the English, it, it doesn't typically read the entire Isnad chain, but in the Arabic, it will. So um, they, they have a lot of meanings and a lot of stuff going on. Uh, and now I'm getting well into it because it, it takes a while to get to the actual text of the book. Um, it, it says this, okay? So said, I'm not even going to try to say all these names, but uh, said Ash Sheikh Al Imam Al Hafiz Al Abdullah Muhammad bin, and, and he goes through the, the whole name of the Isnad. First one, chapter, how the divine revelation started to be re revealed to Allah's messenger. And the statement of Allah, verily, we have sent the revelation to you, O Muhammad, as we have sent revelation to Noah and the prophets after him. And it says, narrated Umar bin, Umar bin al-Khattab, I heard Allah's messenger saying, the reward of deeds depend upon the intentions and every person will get the record, the reward according to what he has intended. So who, whosoever emigrates for worldly benefits or for a woman to marry, his emigration will be what he emigrated for. And so what we can do is we can take the hadith and we can use these to understand what the Quran was trying to say. And uh, again, you can go there. It says narrated uh, by Aisha. That's the wife of Muhammad, uh, the mother of the faithful believers. Uh, Al-Harith bin Hisham asked Allah's messenger, O oh, Allah's messenger, how is it that the divine revelation revealed to you? Allah's Messenger replied, Sometimes it is revealed like the ringing of the bell, and the form of revelation is the hardest of all, and then in that state passes off after I have grasped what is revealed. Sometimes the angel comes in the form of a man and talks to me, and I grasp whatever he says. Aisha added, Verily, I saw the prophet being inspired divinely, and noticed the sweat dropping from his forehead on a very cold day as the revelation was over. And so what this book is going to do is it's going to provide context to help you understand the Quran. Now, as a Christian... This is actually going to be useful because it's going to give you some context to what was going on as the Quran was being written down. The reason this is important, you will actually be able to get some stuff that you could say, I have an issue with the Quran because of that part right there. Or you believe this is something that we need to do to be faithful to God. I don't agree. And so some of these things will actually provide some of those dividing lines between us and Muslims, um, some of it comes right out of the Quran. Mo most of what I deal with, uh, I will pull straight out of the Quran. Uh, the other benefit, again, it it's good to be able to say, I've read your material. I know what you, I know what you believe. Uh, I'm not parodying it. I I can I can, yes, this this is this is it. Uh, I've heard people talk about Islam as Christians and they don't even know what the Hadith is. Um, if you're going to engage with the Muslims, you need to know what the Hadith are. Okay. Um, you need to know how that works. And so again, it's it's 
stories of what Muhammad said, what Muhammad did, and just things to kind of give context to the rest of the Quran. Um, and again, there are certain teachings that the Muslims believe wholeheartedly that only come out of the Hadith. So again, just some stuff you need to know, uh, just kind of as an informative way of explaining to you guys what is going on. Thank you for joining me here on the Janus Project. We're, we're going to keep continuing talking about Islam, so that way you guys can be familiar with it. Thanks for joining me. Remember to like this video, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you guys want to learn next, and I will see you around.